started, you know, cooking so that <laughs> have this nice breakfast. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, each and every day, all of you go out there and you are in the community. You are doing everything that you can to make our city safer. And there is no question that we are a much safer city as a result of your hard work and dedication. And because of the fact that you're on the front lines of everything that happens in the city when it comes to public safety, we know that we owe you a great debt of gratitude, each and every one of you. You leave your homes in the morning, in the evening, at night, and you go out across the city, um, pretty much honoring the oath that you took to protect and to serve. And so the city is in a much better place as a result of all of what you do each and every day. And I've said to you so many times that as long as I'm the mayor, I'm gonna provide you with the tools and the resources that you need to continue to do the excellent job that you do for us each and every day. And there's no question that the city is in a better place. There's no question that more people are moving into the city as a result of the change. And just recently, and we, we, we placed it in the newsletter a couple weeks ago, but just recently, Plainfield was named one of the top 25 cities across the nation, not in New Jersey, but across the nation where property values are rising the fastest among the top 25. And of those 25, only eight were ahead of us. So I think that is an indication of how people feel about the city. And they want to move into the city. That's been happening. The development that we've been able to attract, I don't have to tell you that for decades, everything just passed us by. Not only the train, <laughs> everything passed us by. And that's no longer the case. Developers are coming. We have significant investment dollars that are in the pipeline that are under construction. And I think that this city is going to look so much different over the next 24 to 30 months or so as a result of the projects that will get started in the next few months. And so we owe that to you. You doing the job that you took the oath to do and creating the kind of atmosphere and environment that is conducive to people and businesses wanting to come into our city. And so I don't get to say to you every day, but know that I appreciate all that you do family because it's not just you when you leave the house your family's leaving with you and so I want you to communicate that to them let them know how much me personally is there but the administrative team we all appreciate you and Lisa I am thankful for having her um, at the helm and leading you each and every day I'm <coughs> thankful for the support from the prosecutor's office and from law enforcement in general that collectively come together to create what we now have in the city. And so, thank you, thank you.